how do you recruit against the phrase you're not Ivy League or you're not a top five school? Um, I mean, dealing with like wrestling for the most part, it's cut and dry, but there's always those cases that are like they they think they're Ivy League kids, but you really kind of know they're not Ivy League kids and you're trying to recruit them off the ledge of going to the Ivy League school. Um, do you guys deal with that as much on football? Do you deal with it? I would like to know. I would add to that because it's a great question. Maybe for you, because of Florida, is it the SEC or the ACC, right? And I think Big Ten is one of the best conferences, but do you have that with the Ivies or, or a certain conference, or you're not top five? Probably in certain ways we have it with every conference, you know, because, we, you know, we re- recruit such a myriad of kids that, you know, even though we are Big Ten football, you know, the Ivy League is a real thing. You know, I mean, it's unbelievable schools. But, you know, yeah. I think that, you know we provide the opportunity – to have a world-class education and play football at the highest level possible. And the one thing that's probably unique in wrestling is, you know, some, the Ivy leagues are some of the best, you know, you get the best wrestlers in the country and obviously, you know, Cornell and Princeton's turned it, you know, so uh, where in football, there's a a major difference uh, in the football level. So, you know, I had a kid at Bergen Catholic, John Simmons, that came to Rutgers over, he had every Ivy league school and, you know, one of the things that we talked about is, you know, if you're an academic all Big Ten player, I mean, you know, you and you could write your own ticket. I mean, the opportunities, the level of education at Rutgers, uh, you know, we could put that up with anybody. But, you know, the fact that he could play big time college football, you know, and he's scoring touchdowns against, you know, Penn State, and Michigan when he's a sophomore. And you're like, hey, you know, that was the year they beat, you know, beat Michigan and almost beat Penn State. And you're. Like those experiences, I don't know that you could trade that for anything in the world. So if you could get both and, you know, now he's doing great in his, you know, post football life, you know, and working in the city and whatnot. So, uh, you know, my thought is, you know, if you're that type of student and you're an academic all big 10 player, I mean, man, you could really write your ticket. Now, as far as, uh, you know, the other conferences, I think like you just said, I mean, you know, we're in the big 10 East. I, I don't think it gets any better than that. I mean, it's a, the football is as good as any conference anywhere you know, in the country. And so the opportunity is certainly there, you know, now our ability to prove that we can succeed at that level. And, you know, I think coach has a great track record of developing NFL players. Uh, He did it the last time he was here. And, you know, I think he has a great plan to make sure that we continue to do that. I think if we can show that, then guys will say, Hey, yeah, you know, I can get almost everything taken care of. I can get a world-class education, be around people I love and also, you know, get developed to be a pro. So those, you know, if you check those boxes, you probably have a 